74. I don't feel that. I got to in my bone. I'll be 80, and, I, and I'll feel my age too much. If I, you're 79, and, and Jerry is 79 70, now. You're 74, Jerry? I'll be 74 this coming October, starting next month. Just this month coming. And Jerry, uh, did, did you go to school? Yeah, I went to grade school. You went to grade school? How far did you go? Not very much. I, I, I could I was 15 years old. Okay. There's my mother over here, the baby and the baby. Oh, you want to try the other one? All right, here, so hold this. Hold it down. one years old. You You're living the good life here, right? Look at you. <laughs> so you, uh, tell me about growing up here. What was, what was your childhood like? I can't remember Growing up a long time ago. Mm -hmm. bed. You guys had electricity, running water, stuff like that. And how do you, how do you get around now? Do you drive? No. Your knees feeling better, driven? No, I drive no car in yeah. I don't know how to drive. You don't know how to drive. I get the bus and go to the store and pay my bills. So, uh, you get money from where? The, the railroad at my daddy's place. Have you ever had jobs? Uh, Have you ever had... The man who made America's most incestuous family famous has warned people not to visit the family. The Whitaker family of Odd, West Virginia, was documented by filmmaker Mark Rita for 20 years. The family has a unique way of communicating, known for moaning, barking, and using gestures instead of words or sign language. And now, in an update on the Whitakers, Rita has offered some important advice for those who want to know about them. Rita first met the Whitaker family in 2004, when he met the family, Ray, Betty, Kenneth, Timmy, and Laureen. His first visit was met with hostility from the reservation's neighbors who were armed with shotguns and feared that outsiders would ridicule the family. Despite this difficult start, Leda persevered and won the family's trust. The filmmaker photographed the Whitaker family for his book, Created Equal, which explores diverse American cultures and backgrounds. 2020, he visited the family again to gain a deeper understanding of their lives. In an interview for the Concrete Clips podcast, Rita reported on his experience at the Whitakers. He vividly described the scene with the family, noting the crooked eyes and erratic behavior. It was like that little scene in The Man Who Died is the Best, that we all know. We came onto this road that turned into a country road and then into a dirt road, the filmmaker recalled. Then we came to this trailer, and then we went to a little shed across the street. And there were people walking around, their eyes looking in different directions, barking at us. And one guy, if you looked him in the eyes or said anything, he just ran away screaming, his pants fell to his ankles. He ran and kicked a trash can, and this just happened over and over again. It was out of control. The craziest thing I've ever seen. The filmmaker also acknowledged that it's hard to gauge the extent of inbreeding within the family. There's no way to be sure the Whitaker's parents are related, because this happens in this part of the country and the Whitaker's are the most extreme case I've ever seen, Rita said. I would wager that at least some of the mental and physical abnormalities of siblings, Lorraine, Freddie, Ray, and cousin, Timmy are due to inbreeding. The Whitakers benefited from two fundraising campaigns organized through Rita's YouTube channel. Soft White Underbelly However, recent events have caused a rift in Rita's relationship with the family. A major controversy arose when YouTuber Tyler Oliveira uploaded a video exploring the poorest neighborhoods in America that included an interview with the Whitakers. In the video, Betty Whitaker claimed that she had no knowledge of where the money she raised for the family went. 
This remark deeply offended Rita, who felt that he was being portrayed as a greedy con man. The filmmaker vehemently defended his actions, declaring, Since my intervention, her life has improved greatly. And that's because I was always there for her. Leda claims the family regularly asked for thousands of dollars at a time, but the exact use of the funds remained unclear. The filmmaker showed screenshots of the transfers and announced his decision to stop fundraising for the Whitaker family. Leda contacted Betty before cutting ties to ensure she understood he was not withholding funds. Her seemingly confused response only added to his frustration. Another scandal involving the Whitaker family came to light earlier this year when Larry Whitaker was mistakenly declared dead. Leda published the rumor of Larry's death on his YouTube channel, citing relatives who claimed he died of a heart attack. It was later revealed that Larry was alive and was unaware of the rumors about his death. In a subsequent video, he appeared with his daughter, who admitted to lying about his death to get money, she received one dollar. Oh 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 for Larry's funeral. Smoking a cigarette, she expressed regret for the lie, saying I shouldn't have done that. I am asking for help to get over my drug addiction. The situation escalated further when the filmmaker gave Larry $700 with the understanding that he would use the money to take his daughter to North Carolina and start a new life. Later made it clear that his relationship with the Whitaker family depended on the plan. But suspicions soon arose that Larry had kept the money without honoring the agreement. Late vented his frustration over the situation in chats with Larry's cousin, which are recorded in soft white underbelly. He said he didn't know what to do about them, other than to leave. Leda is now warning others not to repeat his documentary work on the Whitakers. He said the family is unlikely to warmly welcome visitors, adding, they're kind of sheltered by their neighbors and relatives. But they don't like people coming to ridicule them. Meanwhile, the Reverend William Plumley told the Daily Mail, it's a very big deal. But it's also brought a lot of people into the area who just want to mess with them.